this round, the teams will see some pictures and clips, each with a different complaint behind it. All they need to do is work out what the complaint is. Sarah and Jimmy, here's one for you. What's okay. happened here? They're about to give out an award for this year's longest radiator. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon this is going to be... It said fully furnished. Yeah, it does look like someone stole a piano. <laughs> uh, I reckon it's furniture that hasn't arrived or by which said it was going to be fully furnished. Okay. This is so topical for me, actually, by the oh, way. Really? This is therapeutic for me. Oh. I have had an ongoing issue with a company, which I will not name. Why, why, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. why not? Name them. It's yeah, what they're called. Name and shame. Name and shame. My furniture's not arrived yet, oh, and I don't want to arrive By the time this scratches. goes out, it'll be there. It, you are kidding. By the time this goes out, even if it goes out in two years, it will not be there. That's how bad it's going to be. So we went... We had this furniture, which I asked for, and <laughs> I rang them up. They said, your furniture is about to be dispatched, and you will get a text message. A week went by, no text message, so I contacted them and they said, you can only contact us via chat. So at the end of it, I got no further forward, didn't know what was happening with the furniture, it could have been lost, it might never have Jason. arrived, I may never get it. Stick her on hold. <laughs> <laughs> Stick her on hold, because this, this could go on this. ages. <laughs> System. I appreciate this. It's not really our department. No. <laughs> I, I mean, I appreciate you're upset, but it's not. I really, am it's upset. Not much, Jason. You can seem do about like this. you need to speak to a manager. Yeah. I'll... I need... oh. <laughs> you seem like you need a manager. And at the end of it, having not <laughs> bloody resolved it, they had the audacity <laughs> to drop me an email. Can you rate our services? And I'm like, can I fucking rate your services? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a point because <laughs> you're pretty much bang on. Uh, this was a complaint about a missing sofa. This lady was forced to sit on a wooden dining chair after the three-piece suite she ordered for her new home took weeks to be delivered. <laughs> right, Russell, so yep. you know, here's one for you. Yep. Why was this man's tea break ruined? <gasps> what is that? It's got a biscuit. Yes, oh. it is a biscuit, but I don't think that's the bit that we're... Do you feel a poltergeist made that biscuit levitate? <laughs> <laughs> What's he got in his between his finger and I his think I know what it is. Out. Like the tooth. I think he's lost one of his baby teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably worth about 400 quid if he puts that under his pillow. Either he has broken his tooth from biting the biscuit or mm -hmm. he found the tooth in the biscuit. Well, I actually can give you a point for that oh, because <laughs> this retired GP found a human tooth <laughs> in his ginger nut biscuit. Oh. <laughs> the good doctor said he enjoys a ginger nut with a cup of tea first thing every day. He said... It certainly wasn't one of mine. It could only have been from the biscuit. It must have fallen into the mix at some point. Thank goodness, when baking the biscuit, it would have been sterilised. Oh, that's all right. Well, oh. he really found a positive in all that, oh. didn't he? Doctor, he's a man of science. Yeah. I've got a complaint to make. Go on, Jim. A ginger nut biscuit in the morning. First thing. Oh. First thing. He's a GP. He would This know. is madness. What's your first, what do you have first thing in the morning? Like a, have like a swan a, burger or something. A green like... juice and a, a massage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a regular man of the people. <laughs> Pedro, Pedro, it's time for my shoulders. <laughs> I don't know his name, but maybe it's Pedro. <laughs> Sarah, Jimmy, another one for you. On. Uh, what caused this woman to take such drastic measures? Oh, oh my God. That? What's what in that? That is a, a fly trapper. A fly trapper. And they're so all fly flies. I think that's quite an expensive piece by Damien Hurst. I was going to say, I feel like she's trying to get shortlisted for the Turner Prize. Is <laughs> it something disgusting? <laughs> Over that fence, is there something absolutely rotten and there's a million flies? So is it the dead carcass factory is next oh, door? Oh, you know what? You're not far away, actually. This woman was not happy after a fire broke out at a local fish factory and the lingering smell of fish attracted a plague of flies, <laughs> she said. We tried to have a barbecue, but we were covered in flies. It's just been horrible. I just bash them with a tea towel whenever they come in the air. <laughs>